Hello and welcome back to the tutorial on the Tysdale High School National Honor Society Club Management System. In this tutorial we will be learning on how to create the public calendar in Google and how to create some of the folder structure for Google Docs. Now this is the Math Honor Society page for Tysdale High School. It's what I've been working on for a little while and we have things like um, announcements set up, a calendar, a member wall, things like that. But before we can set up all these tabs and everything, we need to be able to have the valid links. So for example, like the calendar, it goes to a different link for Google. And this is the Google public calendar for the entire club. So we're going to begin by setting up that. So we'll go over to my Gmail account for the National Honor Society. I'll go up here to go to calendar. Now we are of course shown our calendar and with Google you can actually have multiple calendars but this time we're just concerned with the National Honor Society public calendar. So we're going to go under the drop down arrow and go to share this calendar. And in order for us to actually just link to the calendar we have to make it a public calendar. So we're going to go ahead and click to make it a public calendar and just save that. And yes we are sure. So it'll bring us back to this, and we then have to go get the link to share the calendar, which will be under share this calendar, calendar details, and the calendar address, this is for a public one. We want the public address, not the private address. We'll click on HTML, and that's the address we'll use to link to our calendar. And that will be covered in the video when we create the tabs for the Facebook page. So next we'll exit out of that and go back to our Gmail account where we have documents. And this will bring us to our Google Docs home. And Google Docs doesn't actually have folders, it has things called collections, which are pretty much the same as folders. So because this is the 2011 to 2012 Tysdale High School National Honor Society and we want the system to carry over to the next year and the next year and the next year, we want to be organized in a way where we have that future thought of it actually carrying over. So for our collections we'll now just create a new collection and just name it 2011 to 2012 and hopefully that will not be the last year with the end of the world coming up and it'll show new collection just refresh the page and it should show up at 2011 to 2012 again. And this is the collection that we're going to set up all of our sub collections to share with various officers that we specify because Google actually allows us to do that. So, for example, we're going to start a new collection under the 2011 2012 collection, and we'll call that maybe meeting notes. And under there, we can have the secretary put her meeting notes or his or her meeting notes and the PowerPoint for the meeting and we can actually link to those notes which we'll show again later when we start creating the tabs and everything in the Facebook page. So we'll create a collection for meeting notes. Again refresh the page and it should show up with the name again. That's something Google needs to work on. And then we'll maybe make another collection for attendance. And that way we can specify that collection to a specific officer. And this process is repeated many times. We can have different folders for different officers who manage things like uh, community service hours and all these different collections we can actually share with specific people with their Google accounts which we'll show later on also. But this is how we basically set up our folder structure in Google Docs and create our public calendar for Facebook. And in the next video we should cover the creation of the tabs on the Facebook page theming them and linking them to all these different things we use with Google.